whenever we first bought this house, there was a bad raccoon problem. There was raccoons just like all over inside the house. So I brought some traps over here and set them up with some tuna. But the only thing I caught was like, was the neighbor's cat inside the house. And it's just a cat that just chills in the neighborhood. Super sweet. All right, so we're at Country Club. So the last time y'all were over here, um, it was our first time coming over to this house. We had, um, we had, we were going over the layout. We hadn't quite started on the on the project yet, but we've had a bunch of um, changes have already happening, and we've had a bunch of guys over here working. So why don't y'all come inside and check it out? So we came in here. We've opened up a few walls and changed the layout on the kitchen a little bit. Um, there was a big row of cabinets on this wall. We took this wall down to open it up to the kitchen, get a more of an open floor plan feel. The carpenters going around on the trim. This trim in this house had these weird, like round corner pieces. We're flipping those around just to kind of give it more of a, a modern look. Not doing a, a whole, whole lot on the, um, the trim and stuff in this house, just trying to make it a little more, a little more updated. I'm thinking that we'll have this house completely done back on the market in about four weeks is what we're shooting for. We should be getting rough inspections probably Monday, and then after that we, we will be able to start hanging sheetrock and, and putting all the doors and painting and everything, getting this place back put together. So lately we've been trying to do not necessarily easy flips, but flips that require less lumber because materials are so astronomically high right now. Um, just trying to save a little bit of money on, on houses that require a whole, a whole lot of building materials. Until, until things at least start leveling out or we can see even materials start dropping a little bit, um, we're just trying to adjust our way of doing things with how the world is going right now. Okay, so we've came down here and we've relayed out everything in this basement. We've put up some new walls. This is gonna be um, like just like a utility closet. This is gonna end up being kind of like a mother-in-law suite for this house is the way we have it set up. So this is gonna end up being the new bathroom down here. Closets, this is gonna be a mechanical closet over here for the electrical. This is gonna be the closet for this bedroom. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of be a be an open layout. Like we'll have a door on the bathroom, um, a door on this bedroom. This will be just a common area. This is gonna be a living room and kind of like a game room over here. So we're gonna separate this whole area from this finished basement side over here. So that was the main reason why I came over here today is to, to get all that, get all that uh, ordered and headed this way because the guys are gonna be, they're gonna start working on uh, the paint and everything on this house very soon. All right, so we're at 3206 Cliff Road. Today, we've got our brick guys going around the exterior of this house, pointing up all the bricks. We're thinking we have probably about two weeks left on this house. This has been a really big project, and it's a really old house, so there's been a lot of work going on here. But I think we're getting close to the end. I think we got about two weeks left. That's what we're shooting for. Whenever we first bought this house, there was a bad raccoon problem. There was raccoons just like all over inside the house. So I brought some traps over here and set them up with some tuna. But the only thing I caught was like, was the neighbor's cat inside the house. And it's just a cat that just chills in the neighborhood. Super sweet. Park right here for right now, but hey, Adam's gonna be moving here just, just shortly within like the next 30 minutes. But just park right here for right now. This is Koi Character. He handles all of our setting out of our houses. He is my right hand. I call him to go behind me, checking everything. Uh, he helps install of our appliances, uh, Plums Islands. Um, this man right here can do anything and everything I ask him to do with an awesome attitude. And he worked with Matthew before I even started. So he's been around the company for probably going around about five years now. Dishwasher's gonna go in. You may have to go ahead and put a plug and a cover on that one yourself if you're gonna fully install the dishwasher. All right. All right, so I've got Koi. Uh, he's gonna start installing all of our appliances. We've got a gas range. Um, he is going to run the gas line to and install a gas range. Um, a hood vent for the gas range that he's gonna install today. The, the dishwasher 
and the microwave. He's gonna go ahead and hook that up. We gotta finish uh, attaching everything underneath. One thing, do you wanna go down to the master and we talk about that? We're trying to treat these doors like the windows. You can walk out onto this roof, but there's not gonna be any handrails all the way around it. So we've gotta figure out some way for inspection purposes of making these doors to where they don't operate. So inspections on this house, we've got mechanical, a gas inspection, plumbing final, an electrical final, and then the building final. A home inspector comes over here, they check over these entire houses. They're responsible for finding all of these problems. Um, they're responsible for, for telling the people who are buying these houses what all they see. Luckily, a lot of times, we don't have a whole lot of problems out of Gregory Dream Homes. Mm -hmm.